Welcome to the 52nd Big Blue. And as per, this has plenty riding on it. Victory without a coach outside the six, but having restored some confidence in the Champions League during the week. And their opponent, Sydney, top by eight points. Unbeaten in ten, they look imperious. Naboo looks up for it. Cruz has been lively, dropping into midfield and picking that ball up. We know Sydney FC will play their way into this game. Andrew Mabutu left the field in tears after the victory's last outing, the 1-0 loss to Adelaide United. Guilty of missing a few chances, wasn't the only one. Here's Ninkovic, the space here for King on the left. Joel King, and touched just wide by Lafondra. Well, there was space aplenty there for young Joel King on the left. Suddenly looking to quicken the tempo. Grant had to readjust, down Johan. Slips it through nicely, Barbarousas with a cutback, Lafonda was just there waiting. Down Johan, gets around Traore, and the tap is there for Adam Lafondra. No flag against the Englishman, and it is 14 for the season for Alfie, and 3-3 three and three at Amy Park as he scores for the fifth consecutive away match, and the league leaders lead. He certainly showed enough in that first 20 minutes to suggest that they've got something in them in this second half. Here's Robbie Cruz leading the charge, and a chance, oh, Toivonen! Well, a player of his quality, you just expected the net to bulge, but it didn't, and they can't quite believe it. It's a simple finish for a man of that quality. It's a sitter. That's probably one of the biggest misses of the A-League season, if not longer. Fondra. Death control to get clear of Basher, Baum Johan and Lafondra sliding in, it's got in. Not sure we've got the final touch, may well be Costa Barbarousas. It is. That's who they're pointing to in front of the victory fans. The travelling supporters go wild, and there's a big smile on the face of Costa Barbarousas. Huge night in terms of pressure for him, but yet again, he's got the goal against his old club as he did in Sydney earlier on in the season. And just slips Lafondra through. And it's and Barbarossa like the left foot the touch. The big toe sticking yep. out. Sydney FC, too much class. Here's Luka Vanovic, back in the team after injury, and he's shrugged off the attentions of his marker. Here's Ninkovic, should be three. Alexander Baum Johan finally has a goal for Sydney FC. And on his display tonight, boy, has he earned it. He has been terrific, so have Sydney. And then Central Coast Mariners against Brisbane at uh, the other end of the table. Oh, now Bam Johan. The arm was raised on Broxham there. And Broxham maybe did foul him and then put the arms across him. Contact to the face. Oh, red card. Well. You know what, that's a real pity for Alexander baum -Johan. I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve it. You raise your hands on a football field, you do run that risk. Actually, you know what, Broxham is on a yellow card, according to my notes, from the first half. So if he's booked, yeah, he's off too. Here's Kenny Athew. It's all pretty academic now. We're into the seventh minute of stoppage time due to those two red cards. Well... The 52nd Big Blue didn't disappoint, did it? Had a bit of everything. And in the end, it's three points for Sydney FC. Baum Johan and Broxham dismissed late on. But in the end, Steve Corica's team, despite the efforts of Robbie Cruz, just too good.